Lung cancer uh, is almost always found by accident. Uh, we are lucky enough to stumble across early stage lung cancer someplace between 15 and 25 percent of the time. Lung cancer is a tumor, uh, a growth of abnormal cells that develop from lung tissue itself. It is primarily caused by smoking. There are other risk factors that uh, increase the likelihood of cancer developing in the lung, uh, but smoking is clearly the, the major risk factor for developing lung cancer. People can have tumors growing for a long period of time and have no symptoms whatsoever. Uh, they can have very subtle symptoms like a cough. Uh, they can have a little congestion. They can even cough up a little bit of blood, but most of the time they don't have any symptoms whatsoever. So the majority of patients uh, who present with lung cancer actually present with late lung cancer. If you think about it, if you don't have any symptoms, you don't know it's growing. And when you finally do have symptoms, it's symptoms of the tumor spreading outside the chest cavity to the bone and causing pain. Treatment of lung cancer, as many solid tumors, really develops or is focused on the stage of the cancer. If it's early stage, in the lung itself, the treatment of choice is surgery, with or without chemotherapy following surgery. If the uh, cancer has spread to the lymph nodes in the center of the chest, then the uh, benefit of surgery drops and the focus is primarily on chemotherapy and radiation therapy, uh, and uh, surgery is added on specific cases. Uh, if they have, if patients have disease that is spread out of side of the chest cavity, metastatic disease, then um, the focus is really on chemotherapy. Survival for lung cancer is really based on the stage of lung cancer, which we've already talked about. Stage one lung cancer is lung cancer that's uh, isolated to the lung itself without any lymph nodes positive, and their survival, five-year survival, is someplace between 70 and 85 percent survival. If you have lung cancer with nodes that are positive, but the nodes are still in the lung tissue, that's stage two lung cancer, and their survival is someplace between 50 and 60 percent five-year survival. When, you, when the cancer is spread to the lymph nodes in the center of the chest, that's stage three lung cancer, and overall survival is about 20 percent, a major downturn. And then when uh, lung cancer is spread to other organs in the body or outside the chest, overall survival is in the low single digits for five years to 3%. When somebody is diagnosed with lung cancer or when somebody has a very suspicious newly found lesion on a CT scan that looks like lung cancer, when they call Tufts Medical Center, they will be seen within 24 hours of that phone call. When you have that diagnosis or that potential diagnosis of lung cancer, there are so many things, so much anxiety that goes through not only the patient's mind but the family's mind that just sitting down with somebody who knows about lung cancer and can direct their care and get a diagnostic and therapeutic plan in place quickly, is we, we think it's really important. The overall treatments for lung cancer are almost standardized across the country. I think it really comes down to the individual physician and the organization and the program that uh, is dedicated to the treatment of that disease process. You need to go, people who have lung cancer need to go to a, a institution that is set up and that uh, really has a dedication to uh, that person and the treatment of a, of a, a difficult disease process. And, and we have that here. Most importantly, I think that we have a very unique situation where we meet on almost a daily basis, but certainly on a weekly basis to discuss everybody who is underway with treatment and to make sure that every variable is optimized, every aspect of their care is optimized to really improve uh, patients' overall experience and ability to survive lung cancer.